what up welcome to my channel my name is Chantel if this is your first time joining me I'm really excited this week most of you who've been watching my channels know that I'm in the middle of a Thanksgiving series we've cooked everything from uh, mac and cheese to dressing and this time I'm switching it up a little bit with a little dessert what is Thanksgiving without dessert, right? I'm gonna be making a vegan version of sweet potato pie, which is my absolute favorite dessert during Thanksgiving. If you guys love sweet potato pie like I love sweet potato pie, then stay tuned. All right, so I'm taking about six sweet potatoes. I'm gonna peel them and I'm going to boil them and then put them in a bowl. I don't know why I didn't take off the ends, but I didn't. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vegan butter. I'm using Earth Balance and then my dry ingredients. So I have my white sugar, my brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And then I'm going to mix that up. I wish I can give you exact measurements on it, but stuff like this, it comes from the soul. You really just gotta taste it and see how you like it. But if I had to guess, I'd say that I used about a cup and a half of both white and brown sugar and two tablespoons of nutmeg and cinnamon. You'll see how I'll add more ingredients towards the end as I need it, but for now, I'm gonna mix it up until I see all the strings and the sweet potatoes disappear. Now I'm gonna add my wet ingredients. I have a unsweetened vanilla almond milk that I'm adding, probably about a half a cup to a cup. And then I'm also going to add about a tablespoon and a half of vanilla extract. And as you can see, I'm adding more of my ingredients because I needed the extra taste. Once it's all good, everything tastes great, then I'm going to add the mixture into these pie crusts. I bought these vegan pie crusts from Whole Foods. You should probably leave about three quarters of an inch from the top. That will prevent them from sticking to the foil when you put it in the oven. Speaking of which, I'm going to throw these in the oven on 400 for about an hour, hour and a half or just until the top starts to get brown and glazed over, you wanna make sure when you press down, it's a little firm and that's how you know it's done. You can let cool off or you can serve it warm with some vegan Cool Whip or ice cream. Welcome back. I hope you guys liked that video. I like shed a baby tear because that sweet potato pie was so good. Honestly, I was a little skeptical about making it because when you grow up eating different foods, you, you want to make sure they just taste like home. By swapping out the dairy and the egg with and replacing it with, I replaced it with, I was able to recreate something that tastes so good. And we saved a few animals in the process. Being vegan doesn't have to strip away all the traditions that we have. The cooking, the dressing, and the mac and cheese, and all that stuff doesn't have to go away. And I hope that you can see that through these videos that you can still eat good and celebrate with the family. As always, guys, thanks for liking and sharing the videos. Please continue to do that. If you want to see more videos in the future, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you hit the little bell button right next to the subscribe button, then you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So that is all I have for today. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time.